Hey everybody, this is Brian from PNB Homesteading. This is an update for the mid-size grow tent and I wanted to go through some of the changes that I made this week for the underneath trays that I was talking about in last week's video. So let me turn the tray, uh, the camera around here and show you what the, uh, the setup's gonna look like. So what I did is I got these plastic trays. They're gonna sit on top of the shelves and underneath the plant trays. And these will catch the water when I put the, uh, I've already transferred the trays from the uh, 1020 solid trays to the 1020 uh, plant propagation trays that have the holes in them. And so this is the tray that will go underneath those. I put in a, uh, a rubber little grommet along with a T-fitting, a little 90 degree angle one. And then on top of that, or hooked to that, I put this plastic you know, tubing along there. And then it goes down around so it kind of hooks in on that like that. And then you see it goes down along the side. And I have that put into a uh, catchment basement basin. So let me go ahead and take you over to the tent and I'll show you what it looks like. The plants in here are kind of flopped over right now, as you can see, because what I did is I took a, another tray, put it on top of the old tray, flipped it upside down, popped off the tray with no holes, put on the tray with holes and flipped it back over and stuck it in here. So now all of these have the, uh, the drip trays that actually will drain. As you can see, I've watered them and they're draining the water through and any excess will go out these little grommet holes down along the tubing along the side there all the way down and each one of these has those kind of trays those uh, drain holes in them they come down here into this and then I've got a little board that I stick over the top of this to keep it held down over that and any excess will go into this tray here as you can see I watered this one here and all that water is draining out of the bottom of these so it'll keep the roots wet and it'll keep these wet here and any excess you know overflow I may need to tilt this one a little bit more because it seems to be holding a little more of the water than I want but uh, then it'll go out that hole over here on the side and I had to cut this one here to fit inside here so I had to do a little silicone work but uh, that's kind of the update for the tent not too nothing too impressive with the uh, the greens this week because they all kind of look all laid over so I just did this Sunday afternoon here but uh, they all seem to be growing really well. This DMR first cut has really come back. I mean, it's laid down right now because I had it flipped upside down, but that and the gourmet lettuce blend, this one here is doing really well. This is its uh, second, you know, first cut. I don't know where the first cut tag went. Must've got tossed out when I uh, did the flipping. I'll have to put one back in there because you can tell I've already done one cut on that one. But uh, yeah, everything looks to be going pretty well in here. And uh, I'm hoping this is gonna solve the issue of having too much water sitting in these trays and it'll actually just drain through and sit in this bottom tray, if anything, leaving the, uh, the soil a little bit drier up above and not just sitting with a bunch of water in it. So, that's kind of the update for the mid-sized tent. This has been Brian from P&B Homesteading. I'll talk to you guys again. All right, bye guys.